good news, weather, sports, events, cooking, music, and more right here on your Madison County Weather Channel. Watch at MadisonKYLive.com, YouTube, Facebook, and Roku. Thanks to our great sponsors, Madison County Emergency Management, the Madison County Library in Richmond and Berea, KYmedia.net, and the Cane Pole in Southern Hills Plaza. Hey, are you ready now? Yes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Windy Wednesday on this, oh my gosh, November the 1st. Can November you believe this? November the 1st. What in the it? world? Is I, going on. I don't know. It just seems like you seems like it was October yesterday. Time is just going on. Uh, keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. Into the future. Into the future. Into the future. Can you believe that? Yeah. And it's just, yeah. What? Who sang that song? Sticks, I believe. Sticks? No, I think it was the Steve Miller band. Oh, Steve Miller band. You are correct. I'm sorry. Sticks. I don't know. No, I'm thinking of another song about Sticks. I'm sorry. Steve Miller band. Into the future. Never mind. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's Do you know shame. any other line of that song? Because you Not know really. what? It's really kind of <laughs> slipping my Not mind. Not really. But I know Nathan Hutchison does because he's a master of all things music. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. He can have his own show and talk about albums, album covers, and bands. I'm, he's literally wow. a wealth of trivial so rock and roll information. Why don't Why don't we have that then? I don't know. We need to do that. Yeah. I think we should have him on for a special show. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Nathan, you're about to break into the radio booth. Nathan. Right. Nathan Hutchison. But I know what Nathan does. He always watches that 24-7 weather forecast at MadisonKYLive.com. Matter of fact, he can't stop talking about it sometimes. But you can always get it at MadisonKYLive.com 24-7. Are you real today? <laughs> yep, she is. <laughs> She's moving and everything. Hi, Mimi. You it's notice at the end when I said, Bye, Mimi. <laughs> She's a bit drunk because her, her mouth didn't even move. But anyway, I'm sorry. I progress. I'm progressing. I'm sorry. I digress. Sorry. And progress. Progressing on to Pet of the Day, folks. I love this. Lisa, or is that Lisa? I think it's Liza. Like Liza, like Liza Jane, like Liza Minnelli. Minnelli. Okay, all right. If you're in the market for a goofball named Liza, who loves to play, Liza is the perfect match for you. Loves to snuggle, run, chase feather toys, and romping around the lobby and with other kittens is definitely Liza's preference. She's an American short haired tabby, only two months old. She's adorable. She's a doll baby. She's kind of got the eyelashes of Liza in the way to look at her. Gorgeous. Hey, remember, they're out there at the Mexican Animal Shelter. Give them a phone call, send them a message, say, I saw Liza. My She's up for adoption on Madison County Live. Oh. You definitely want to check her out That's or right. any of the other pets yep. that are available out there. Absolutely. And a dog. So, National Day today, besides being Windy Wednesday, it is National Broadcast Traffic Professionals Day. Yes, it is. Now, can you explain to everyone, since you're in the, I know, you know, but people out there may not know what National Broadcast Traffic Professionals are. What do, what is a traffic professional in broadcasting? And so a traffic professional in broadcasting, you would think that it's a person who tells you what the traffic is. I know, is. it's what I first thought. I know, crazy, but it's not. right? It's not. it's not. It's the person who is in charge of making sure that the commercials, That's right. the, like the supporters, mm -hmm. the, if you listen to mm -hmm. public radio, right. we call them underwriters. Yep. Yep. Um, 
It's the companies and businesses that support the station that you're listening to. They so make sure the spots run correctly. The spots are played at the time that they're mm -hmm. supposed to be played because it's a it's kind of a process, That's but right. it's a wonderful. It's a I don't know how long it's, it's been. It's a big since operation. It can be, but mm -hmm. how long has it been since you've been out of broadcasting? Mm -hmm. Well, broadcasting was the last thing I was in as far as a official broadcast was some work with KET, which they have traffic managers as mm -hmm. well. Uh, WLEX, which has more traffic managers. We had, when I was traffic and billing systems, mm -hmm. uh, was right across the hall from our sales department and broadcast production for the cable systems that we had. And we, I was production manager, and we had about 20 systems. So that traffic and billing operation was ripping and roaring by the time you got those invoices out. And when the spots played, it was time to do it again. you got to do it again. Do it, right. do it all the time. Those old dot matrix printers going, <laughs> because legally, you have to be able to document when they ran. So you, you know, okay, so. so you were there mm -hmm. when it was dot matrix printers. Yes, yes. Okay, so in, now it probably not. in current days, <laughs> because that's I not, handle the traffic, that's, that's I right. handle the traffic processes. Yeah, at, at, no. We used to run them out no, by hand. I didn't say okay, that. Okay, All good. I'm saying is, is that nowadays the way I've got it set up and mm -hmm. is it's all completely automated. Okay. Just a couple of clicks of the buttons. Enter in the orders. There done. No, nice. I, I can't enter them in as fast as I used to with shorter now, like what longer now. Well, you know, an automated system is partially artificial mm -hmm. intelligence in a way because cool. you know it sets it all up for you, and it just you just program it to the what you want it to be, and then it does it for you. Which then, instead of handwriting it or sure. waiting for your right. dot matrix printer to print it out, <laughs> we don't even print anything out anymore. We just enter this it in, electronic. copy, paste, push some buttons. It's done. Back and in the day, we used to fax them if they needed them like immediately. Then, you know what a fax is. Do you know what a yes? Yeah. I know what a fax machine is. So you know then it automatically goes from one computer to another right. computer and sets itself up in the oh playlist. Automated. Fancy. That's what I've been working on for the last six years that I've been at the station is getting everything automated, oh, which will free me up for more things. Happy so, National Broadcast Traffic Professionals. Yes. Probably more than you ever wanted to know. And we, yes. you just thought we were talking about cars. <laughs> traffic. Traffic reports. Did that go? But you yeah. can also get traffic That's reports true. listening to me in the mornings on 88.9 nice. WBKU. Segway. Nice, isn't it? It's awesome. She's it's very good, awesome. folks. Hey, we got some events coming up. Real quick. Kind of events. Before we get on, look at this. Feather Fun Jewelry Making Classes at Chanel Vineyards. Look at this. Thursday, November the 9th, 6 o'clock, $30. Includes all the supplies, instruction, and one complimentary glass of wine. Okay, so Chanel Vineyards. Up. Tickets on eventbrite.com. Chanel Vineyards. Mm -hmm. What day? Jewelry Making Classes. Thursday, November the 9th. Next week. Six so six sign up now before they fill up because I'm, I'm sure they, I'm sure they will. And of course, I know uh, Samantha and Christine and all of them want me to talk about the annual barn market, which will be November the 25th. Go ahead and plan on that. 10 until 6, all day shopping, family friendly activities, live entertainment, food, wine, and more. So, so the all annual this holiday Vineyards. barn market mm -hmm. is at Chenault Vineyards. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. November 25th. That's right. And that's just where you can go shop for you your Christmas. You just go shop for Christmas. That's right. Yeah. Shop local. That's right. Shop local. Now on to. Wednesday, Wednesday. What do you what do you have for us in your vast file systems? All right. Of Wendy Wednesday. So let's talk about what we're going to see in the night sky oh, this week. Scary. And so, because you know I like right. science Everybody and I scared. like space. Go ahead. And if you look out, you're going to see at nighttime. We're definitely looking at nighttime, yes. and it's always better to find. It's something. a lot easier to see the stars at night. I think. It's always better to find <laughs> I think so, Mr. the information of the star, what you're looking for, yep. especially if you can get out in the country. Right, right. If you're already in the country, that's awesome. So the moon is in the waning gibbous stage. It means it's waning because, you know, we've had a full moon recently. So once the moon rises around 9 or 10 o'clock when it's way up, and if the sky is clear, you're mm -hmm. going to see the two stars for Castor and Pollux. And those are basically the heads 
of the Gemini constellation. So when you check it out, you're going to see the moon in the sky. And if you're looking late tomorrow night, mm -hmm. yes, because it'll be yes. tomorrow night, looking late. So if the moon is here, Castor and Pollux are going to be right here. And then each night the moon will move through that constellation. Oh, it'll move through that constellation. Yeah, it'll move through that oh, constellation. Cool. And so you'll be able to see the heads of that of the Gemini constellation, which is pretty That'll cool. Be neat. Yes, you know pretty what? neat. Follow Wendy on Facebook. She always puts these little interesting tidbits of astronomy on her reels and Facebook page. I do, or just some random. How many the sun scale? Maybe you should have your own show. Maybe I should have my own show. But you're, you're, she's contractually obligated to make some of and if nobody heard that, we tried to say that I'm contractually obligated to Madison County Live. She didn't know what she was signing. I didn't sign anything. <laughs> so, let's talk about something that, okay, so this weekend. Okay. yes. So this weekend, you know, and I wasn't here mm -hmm. and other Wendy filled in for That's me. That's right, and, yes, and absolutely. And then virtual Wendy filled in for me. She was very good. And it, you know, Works so. Cheap. I went out of town, though. I went right, out of town. Okay. I had some company, and I went mm -hmm. out of town and went to a wedding. I got to officiate <gasps> a wedding for the first time. Childhood friend of mine got married, and he asked me. He's always like a big brother to me, right, and he right. asked me to officiate the wedding. Oh, nice. Very nice. He actually got married at the courthouse previous to this. This was just oh, a ceremony so for the friends. he didn't trust friend. you completely. Well, I mean, I am not the authority. <laughs> On getting married, and I don't in the have, state of Ohio. I don't have what is it like the the credentials, the credentials for mm -hmm. this. So this was just a ceremony for right. friends and okay. family. Oh, so nice. we had a really good time. Cool. It was very beautiful. But anyway, during this weekend, um, I'm sure you some, heard something. Some I did. Somebody asked me how was my mom doing. It was actually like in a reference to, you know, just kind of like conversation. Yeah, right. We were just having a conversation. How's, how's your mom? Mm -hmm. I said, how's your mom and him? <gasps> this person <laughs> from out of town, from out of, outside of Kentucky, right. did so, not know what I what? meant. Didn't know. Mom and him. Because, <laughs> you know, when you say it, it's one word. It's <laughs> mom and him. That's right. Mom and him. How's your mom and him? How's your mom and him? You know what I mean. It sounds like homie. <laughs> <laughs> So if you could, so you had to explain, and them True. and them refers to all the rest of the family. True. So it's something that we say here. How's your mom and them? How's your mom and them? And you're covering everybody. Nice. Whenever you ask somebody, nice. how's your mom and them? Mm -hmm. It's a very polite way to find out. I know. The How's your mom? Because your, your mom, mom is the most important person. And the family. And the rest of everybody. And the rest of the clan, right? That's right. Okay. That's, right. Okay. That's right. So That's cool. Mom and him. You did a little education. That's, That's one of our phrases in Kentucky. That's what you do. How's your mom and him? How's your mom and him? Fine. Finer than frog's hair split three ways. That's fine. Finer than frog's hair split three ways. I That's fine. Do <laughs> frogs have <laughs> They do, actually. They have hair. They have really good barbers. They have really good barbers. <laughs> they so have like, really good. They're so like rare as hen's teeth. What? I didn't, even I didn't even understand. I guess we'll discuss that I next week. I didn't understand it. What did you say? <laughs> Rarer than hen's teeth. Rarer than hen's teeth. You see, that? see, I'd been up in Ohio all weekend, so now I can't understand how we talk in Kentucky. There's only anymore. one week. Folks, if you want to sponsor <laughs> Wendy Wednesday or how we talk, yeah. it's easy to do. Send us a message on Facebook, Madison County Live. Send me an email, Randy at kylmedia.net. Hey, that was a lot. That Windy Wednesday is always so we're gonna packed with information. Pack it full of information. Pack it full of information. Make it worth your time. And please be kind. Treat others how you want to be treated. Because why, Wendy? Because you need to be nice to people. Absolutely. Check on your neighbors. <laughs> Check on your neighbors and ask them, how's your mom and them? How's your mom and them? <laughs> hey, see how your mom and them's doing and get back to us tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks to our great sponsors. Madison County Emergency Management, the Madison County Library in Richmond and Berea, kymedia.net, and the Cane Pole in Southern Hills Plaza.
good news, weather, sports, events, cooking, music, and more right here on your Madison County Weather Channel. Watch at MadisonKYLive.com, YouTube, Facebook, and Roku. Thank you.